Hello everyone. Welcome Hello, everyone. to our three Good morning. episode five. Hello yes. everyone. <laughs> Hello. So I think this week have everyone has a eventful week, and uh, <clears throat> this week we are gonna talk about the rise of digitization. I think this is very a uh, very important topic. So let me start first. <laughs> Yes, go ahead, Dave. <laughs> so, I remember when I was young, there was not much uh, digital device. So last time, there's no digital games like uh, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. Last time was only board games, okay, and some uh, like those Star Wars, Transformer figuring toys. So the nearest thing that I can have is maybe. Uh, Atari games, uh. <laughs> those this type of games, uh, those with batteries, uh, shooting game, those very 2D style one. Uh. So those, uh, if you play now, you think very boring with all the 3D stuff now. <laughs> and uh, even when I have computer, those big fat computer, they are using DOS. I'm not sure if you know what is DOS. <laughs> DOS and, what uh, is DOS? You need the, the whole operating system is called DOS, right? it's not Windows. You need to key in some command to launch a website. On the launch of internet website. So if you want to play game, you need to use floppy disk. The big fat floppy disk, not the small one. So that was my childhood. Okay. So even internet, you need to dial in to a certain number, the, the telco number, then you have a loud sound. After a while, then you connected to the internet. So this is my childhood, okay? So, but if you uh, fast forward to now, you can see that uh, things now is getting too digitized until you you don't think you can catch up. Why do I say so? Because now there's AR, there's VR, and uh, those uh, robots that act like human, okay? So, uh, one of my friends recently went to a cruise she went, uh, want to have some wine or some cocktails, but there's no bartender. It was a robot that is mixing the, the drink for her. So the bartender was totally replaced. And I know some universities in Singapore, there's uh, auto bus. Uh, the bus, there's no driver. It just went around the campus, different location uh, by GPS. Okay, so there's no driver to drive the bus. You go by itself. It's a robot car. So it's so advanced now. You cannot imagine this kind of thing. I know last time got this show called Robocop. So now become realized. Yeah, realized. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So last time got Star Wars. Can travel to the uh, moon and everything. And now Elon Musk, he want to create a spaceship allow travelers to go to the space to travel will this happen i don't know maybe yes okay so and i know uh bill gates the former founder of microsoft okay he said if you want to train your kids let them learn coding coding okay? last time i tried to learn by sucks okay i feel my java i feel my c plus so I'm not a coding guy. I'm more a hardware guy. So why learn coding? Because as I said, digitization is the thing forward. Everything, all the robots, you need to use program to program. Okay? Still controlled by human uh, for now. Uh. Maybe next time using machine learning and AI, maybe they don't, don't need human anymore. This is the... Uh, a very scary talk. Yeah, it's scary, huh? <laughs> like like some of the movies, uh, the, <clears throat> the robot is like like near human like that. He can talk and think like real human and even act. Okay, so uh that's why we need to digitize ourselves so that we can keep up with the times. You can see within these two years, because of the pandemic, digitization in the company is uh, become faster. More and more companies are going to digital payment, 
digital platform to sell their things. And maybe some of the companies, they do not want the office space anymore. Everything they transfer to digital space. Why? Because uh, short front, you can only attract that amount of people, maybe 100, 200, or even thousands only. Maybe locally, okay? unless you're good, you are so internationally famous. Maybe you can attract uh, foreigners to come. Else, it's just local people. But if you put your products or your service online, the world is yours. You can attract any people all over the world. Okay? From, you can attract people from US, Europe, uh, Asia, Southeast Asia or Middle East, something like that. Okay? So there's no limit where how many customers you can attract maybe millions if you know how to do facebook marketing or you can know how to do youtube marketing instagram marketing okay so this is a skill that we need to learn that's why i am uh, in dig this digital business why 10 years ago i already know this will ha happen that's why i started internet marketing but unfortunately there's no one to guide me there's uh, no updated training to keep training that's why I failed. And why right now I come back again? Because this digital business, this allow me uh, to have constant training, constant updated training. This is very important. When you want to do anything, be FMB, logistic, whatever, you need to have constant updated training because the world is moving very fast. You cannot be stagnant at your current knowledge. You definitely need to upgrade yourself. What's more, you definitely need a mentor, someone who has been, been there, done that, so that they can guide you to do things uh, a shorter way. You don't need to go the long way or hit the wall, then come back here and go another way. So they already been there, done that, they know where you should go. Just follow what he guide you. So it's very important. You need to have a mentor. You need to have a updated training. And digital, as I said, the world is yours. You can attract any customer from anywhere you want. Okay? You, because all the uh, ads platform, you can target any country you want. So precise until you can uh, target states or even streets or people uh, even their profession, their education level, etc. So this is uh, uh, the next wave of marketing really. It's no way, no more standing at the shop front, give a uh, fan flirt, you want to buy or not? No. Digital marketing is more uh, productivity, increase your productivity. Okay? So you do not need to waste a lot of time uh, to do the marketing because work for you 24 times 7 even when you sleep you can work for you so it's uh that's why more and more people started digital marketing you can see this our community globally there's hundred over thousands of uh, uh global digital, digital business partner why because they realize the potential in digital marketing <clears throat> And last time, if you do digital marketing, there, there's a lot of things that, a lot of factors that you need to do. Lah. You need to worry about a website, how to code the website, even you, you want to spend money to hire programmers to come out with your website, that cost a bomb. After that, you need to know how to upload your pictures to your website and uh, the plugins, etc. So this all these technical stuff, you already maybe waste one week, two weeks just to troubleshoot all this one. Eh? This doesn't make you any money. You are just wasting your time to troubleshoot your own website only. Okay? So only, not only that, you need to uh, maintain your programmers. Why? Because your website will get outdated. <laughs> you need to keep update the codes or the plugins or whatever. Or another way time. So other than that, you need to keep source for new products. You cannot sell product A only, then forever product A. 
your sales will drop definitely because you do not have new product to uh, boost your sales. Okay, so you need to source for new product. Then logistic, you need to care of. Uh, you need to pack your products and send to Korea or send to wherever. So a lot of things you need to worry of. But with our digital business, you do not need to worry about product. It's taken by your sales funnel. And what is sales funnel? Sales funnel is actually our website. Okay, so everything is being implanted on our website. They will sell for you twenty four times seven. You do not need to worry about like standing on storefront whether or people come and buy my product. No need. Okay, and this technical stuff of building a website, you also don't need to worry because we got that kind of stuff to help create your website. So your main focus is do the money part. That is marketing. In digital marketing, what makes the most money? Marketing. Okay. Without marketing, even you have the best product, you also can't sell because no one knows. So you need to do marketing. Attract your leads to come and find out about your product, your services. Then you will have sales. So do what online marketing only. This is what we focus on. So we focus on how to build a Facebook page, what kind of content to post, our our uh, social branding, what kind of platform that we need to use. Okay? Maybe I like to use Facebook. You like to use YouTube. Maybe you like to use LinkedIn, for example. All these trainings will be provided. So, what are you afraid of? Okay. So, if you know these kind of causes, ah, uh, if you go outside, maybe few hundred or few thousand just to learn Facebook only. If you want to learn YouTube, another one thousand. You want to learn LinkedIn, another one thousand. How much more you want money? Do you have to learn all these kind of skills? Yes, that's why we have this training portal with all these trainings step by step to train you. If you don't know, we still have mentors to guide you or handheld you on what steps to do. Yes. <clears throat> that easy la, for our digital business. And this is what attracts me, mentors and trainings. Not only that, this community is not about marketing every day i just do marketing that's it there's no interaction between our community members we have a lot of activities okay we meet for lunch we meet for dinner we meet meet for pubs meet for singing etc so we have a lot of games because we are partners man digital business owners we don't just work only we have to play right our love is not just about life is not just about work you need to play all work and no play make Dave a dull person. So we need to play. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love this digital business. Huh? For example, Pascal and Delbert, before I joined, I don't know two of them. Okay. Now I know. <laughs> because of now we know each other, yeah. The wonders of digital. You know people from all around the world. Yeah. Just digital. It's so uh, convenient and so easy knowing people with the right uh, mindset and positive uh, community this is what we need la. we need a positive community to push you further because when you want to succeed in anything that you do your community is very important they can either make or break you so choose your community uh, wisely yeah, so that's why we need to digitize ourselves, be in the right community, constant training, have mentors. This is the uh, summarized point that why we need to be in this community. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you, Pascal? <laughs> uh, so uh, thank you, uh, Dave. Um, 
And yes, meaning just to, to repeat, we are friends here uh, through that uh, online system, which is fantastic. Yeah? It's, uh, but we're using all digital and this is we cannot avoid today. Uh, um, so back to my uh, uh, youth, which is was a few centuries ago, guys. <laughs> I'm born in the era where it was no mobile phone, no video game no uh, music CD or laser, uh, it was a vinyl a disc and a VHS uh, video movie, that big uh, um, uh, VHS uh, box actually, plus the system was massive. So the digital was not existing. The electronic was uh, uh, growing and moving and fast actually, but it was no digital. So. Um, to communicate at the time then, <clears throat> even when I was young, it was just talking to the people, like uh, uh, through uh, knocking to the door to the friend, saying, okay, uh, maybe we meet or we go for playing uh, this day, this time, this is the meeting point. So uh, remind me then the communication was the key. So verbal communication was the key, even through telephone, like a uh, land telephone, land phone. But the communication was the key because we have no choice. And again, we didn't think of, it was a burden or not a burden because it was the way that we communicate. You know, like even after school, we want to play. We just fix the time. Uh, we check with our parents and then we uh, be sure then to be on time at the meeting point And that's it. So was no digital. Digital was not existing. So I'm part of that uh, generation then who uh, I will not say that I grew with the digital, not at all. But I have to capture the digital based also on my work. So um when i getting uh, um, older and have more experience so i started my career as a sales guy in the uh, brick and mortar uh, shop like in the retail shop so it was no digital at the time because we use calculator you know to calculate the amount of clothing that the people buying and uh, the till machine was just push a button and open and give back the the cash, the credit card, uh, it was not super famous. And then we used that uh, uh, a flat machine when you put the credit card on the paper and then you iron like this. Um, so it was super interesting in a way because we have no choice. We don't know. We didn't know at the time what is a digital was everything, which is today than uh, you uh, buy online. You do everything online, actually. Online is very sick. So even though if you are not a tech savvy, then you use every day the digital. For every single thing that you're doing, you have those digital parts, whatever if on, on the personal side, which is all those uh, uh, social media, social platform, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, TikTok, whatever, Facebook, LinkedIn, we all use sooner or later uh, the digital. So I grew um, with a, a part, I would say, of technical um, IT stuff when uh, I was reaching a certain position then I have to manage different region, different group, different people, lead people. And then we started to connect uh, some computers, some network then because it was interesting. And most of it, it was to save time. Uh, saving time then uh, to summarize, to have only one document to when we talk to each other, then we know what is it. And um, so, Years after years, years after years, now is the digital, and maybe your generation, Dalbert, you will tell us, I'm sure later, is you born with the digital. You completely born with all those digital. Uh, your life is uh, digitalized. But I would like just to share something in a way that what I observe, it's uh, the digital, it's super important. However, it can be very dangerous. How? everybody all of us using when i say dangerous it's more like what i'm serving from again from a, a, a time that is no digital and i can see the digital the digitalization depend of how you use can absorb the way of how to communicate verbally with people like you can see from transportation mtr everywhere everybody have the nose on the phone and not aware about what's surrounding them what's happening to them, or even sometimes observing something fantastic around them. And this is makes me feel a bit scared in a way that I said is a pity because I come from a generation when we have a verbal communication. I need something, I ask you, I want to share, I ask you, and we were interacting now. So now it's, uh, I would say, the lack of that verbal communication because it's so faster. But however, I'm happy because I'm used this digital and I'm used this digital um, um, I would say the 
not industry, but era for my benefits. <laughs> the same as uh, Dave, I uh, uh, joined um, online um, community and uh, because this is what I wanted. And I was scared because I have no digital background. But however, it's fantastic, this community, because everything is actually tailor-made for even the non-expert. The, the person who has no clue, as long as you know the basic of use your computer or use your phone, uh, that's it. So I don't that, I, I joined this one because I saw also my uh, younger nephew, uh, some uh, um, a friend's kid, who are in the 20 and then they so brilliant using this digital and i'm 56 and i said come on i cannot i cannot i have to be brilliant i have to be smarter so i have to learn and then is what i did when i jumped into this online uh, opportunity an online business um one of the key was to become entrepreneur my own boss um but however i didn't want to do all the this journey alone by myself so that's why i joined this uh, fantastic community and this community, it's worldwide, um, and it's, uh, they've mentioned, and we're more than 100,000 people around the world. Um, the system we are using have been built by the online expert, so people who are very specialized in different categories and have a huge expertise. And this training, it's fantastic because you can go step by step. You have no uh, timing and clock with the alarm saying, hey, you have to do this one. You have to go to this tab. You have to close this chapter. No, that is fantastic because for people working, give you an example, for people who have a part time, for people who stay at home or for people who are traveling or they are located anywhere, you can go, you can do and use on your own rhythm. Uh, which is fantastic is video, video recorded so you can replay anytime and then again i insist and then the community is there like we have community in every single corner of the world of the planet anywhere we can find a community of business partner mentor who help us guide us sharing have a fun uh, again dev then you were completely one when you said uh, meet each other have dinner have a drink have a good time meaning still having that communication you know even though we work all in the digital we still have that communication and uh, give an interaction give a, a joy and happiness to us so the community it's the major one of the major uh, plus of what we are doing today because again online business is very wide is like a spider web uh, you can find whatever you want, and as long as it fits you, it suits you, it's fine, meaning it's no wrong, no right. We choose this online platform because we are not alone, yet we are our own boss, we are entrepreneurs, but we are surrounded by people who have expertise and experience to guide us through our journey for the digital, but also being the better and better entrepreneur of what we can be or what we can do. Uh, so, yeah, this is fantastic. This is uh, so the digital. I, I learned the digital through this training. And again, what is amazed me that I have a feeling and very humble saying that I have a feeling of everything that I learned and I compete, I become kind of an expert of whatever the platform, Facebook or YouTube or Google. Meaning it's very humbling what I'm saying, but I have a feeling that I learn so much and then I apply what I'm learning that I become that kind of expertise. So along this journey, then we all become an expert in certain uh, side of all those digital world. And then it's uh, amazing as well. And um, for my part, I'm traveling every month. I'm flying tonight, but I carry uh, with me from my phone, from my computer, my business. So my business never stop, and we have an automated system. We are tailor made for us, like working in autopilot, twenty four seven. So guess what? Tonight I take the flight. During my flight, my system working for me. And um, even last week I said this is my best personal assistant. She's super pretty. Uh, her name is Jeannie, and this is my automated system. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so this is the advantage. And whatever we are in the world, in the planet, or whatever we're doing, then we have this system would work for us. So uh, it's fantastic. So what I want to say today, then here 
my friend, we are three different de- generation from 30s, from 40s, from 50s plus. We used to live different uh, experience and journey in those digital or non-digital, but we are here today. So no matter where we are located, no matter our background, no matter our cultural difference, no matter our language difference, we are here. So this is, we can show you and right now how much we are blended and the diversity that will be part of it. So yeah, I'm super excited and happy to be with you guys and to do this journey together. Uh, and as all uh, three of us as a pure entrepreneur. So thank you also again, Dave, to uh, put this one in place and this, uh, this sharing. So now is uh, the youngest to share uh, some story about his youth. Dalbert right. is your all right, so I'm Delbert, and um, actually, when uh, I'm going to thank Dave and actually Pascal to share about this, so it's really great to really hear the two of their two of two of our best uh perspective here of how they grew up from a uh, non digital age to a digital age, and to able to even overcome the difficulties that we face in the digital age. For me, I I'm 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 the one that's quite blessed because uh without them, I won't be able to enjoy a lot of benefits in this in this age right now, and so. Here in digital business, uh, here in the digital age, what I've enjoyed most is the convenience, the the like what you mentioned, uh, the the convenience of entertainment, your music, your games. It's not so freely easily accessible. Last time when your phone, you can do a call. Now you can play games on it. Even more, you can even send emails out from it. You know, work becomes integrated with uh play and with uh, uh creative ideas. So it becomes all in one here in this digital age. And here, what's most exciting is that on the digital platform, a digital front, a lot of it uh, shows the entertainment side. Like imagine you go TikTok and you see, oh, there's exclusive promotions, there's exclusive deals for just this particular month. And then you get to enjoy this, these promotions for it. You know, for me personally, I was able to enjoy such uh, such uh, such news and such ideas because I was able to go, in, go on to the internet and able to see it so accessible, you know. Promotions like this are easy, easily accessible, and now I can just code, example, the promo code, or even code even the the uh, the items, and people will be able to you know give me the right uh, price for it. And so, here in this digital age, it's it's more of like a place where you can enjoy the benefits of it. At the same time, it helps you give you new ideas. So, example for me, uh, new ideas shows that example I I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a delivery man, and so there are times where I feel that. You know, it's it's. I need to have the right navigation. I need to know where to drive. I know I need to know where to right where to do a right turn, a left turn, or is it a straight road? And so digitalization has helped me in this navigation, and it has helped me to see even uh, how long I will need to take to from one route to another route and how I can plan it out well. And also, on top of this, having this digital business at the side, I'm able to fully focus on driving and not worry about anything at all. And so that's 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 the key benefit that I've learned. The key benefit that I, I, I have uh, achieved, and I feel a sense of uh, gratification for it. And so you know, when we are doing this, then it, it has helped me so much, so much, so much that I don't know how to like say uh just a just a I can just give a short word to just describe it. But more importantly, it's more of like a, a form of a change that has undergone in my lifestyle. Right now, I begin to embrace it easily, and digitalization is a part of it now. So. Here, what do we do now, you know, when, when we are so accessible? Well, I would say first try out first. First, uh, use it to your advantage and see how it begins to integrate step by step into your life. At first, it's not easy. At first, you take quite some time. But slowly, slowly, when you, when, because it's digital, right? It's easily accessible, right? You can use it anytime, anywhere on the MRT or even uh, places where you are, uh, you are walking around and then you have accessible your phone. You know, it's easy to just do it, easily to access to it. And so that's that's the benefit of me. You know, I, I toggle between different apps, you know, when I'm doing my delivery and it's fine because, you know, sometimes there are, there are times where you are waiting. There are times where you are, you, are, you are waiting to rush to do things. During that waiting moments, during that moments where you are free on your own, what happens? You know, you can start doing this. You can start uh, automating part of your part of what you can do into your life. And that brings a better benefit because now you're able to achieve two things at one time. So, you know, people always say you can't, you, you know, it's very hard for guys to actually uh, 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 multitask. But right now, I can. I can multitask right now because because of these apps, because of this uh, 
digital age, now I can begin to multitask and be able to do two things at one time. And people are shocked at like, is it is it really true? Is it can it be really be done? Well, I would say try it first. For me, I was skeptical also in the first place because the mean being a delivery person, you know, you have to have your hands on, you know, eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. You have to keep going. But then when you have this digital, you know, you are you don't have to worry about it. You just keep going on and you just don't have to think so much about it, but concentrate fully on what you are doing right now. Yeah. So I would suggest that in this age of digitization, keep on trying new things, keep on exploring, and new ideas will always flow out. So that's the key thing. That's the good thing about it because ideas are always constantly coming up. And there we have this system that always integrate with these new different ideas. And so we're able to keep up with the speed and the age that is that is to come. And the good thing about it is that you won't be missing out. Why we won't be missing out? Because things are going to change and the changes are being reflected quickly on this digital age. It's so it's so efficient. Information passes by so efficiently onto this age that you are able to get the fastest information, the best information, the correct information, and you can start trying it out. And you can even like change to a different flow or a different way to how you can suit your own personal lifestyle. And that's the beauty of it because it is it just takes so little time to to adapt to change and to and to take on these new things. Yeah. So if if my two friends here, Dave and Pascal can do it, so can you. Yeah. And so that's for me. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. It's uh, it's uh, it's so useful, and huh? this uh, meaning we, we cannot avoid anyway. Huh? The digital. Yeah, so so that good. is more like how we are using it, whatever is for business side or whatever is for personal side. But uh, we never miss that communication, which is very important, like verbal. What we're doing right now through digital, but we verbally communicate uh, yes. together. So it's super, yeah. super important to keep that uh, yeah communication. Uh, feeling more alive huh? so mm -hmm. a super interesting topic yeah, today it's uh, oh my god i'm feeling so old suddenly uh, listening to you dalbert then... <laughs> <laughs> excellent yeah dave so... maybe uh, you know, uh wrapping or last word <laughs> uh i think digital is amazing la. so i think in the near future to come everyone should have or must have this knowledge in order to maybe find a job without okay. this kind of uh, digital knowledge be it coding AR or H vr etc et you can't find a job mm. it is a necessity okay last time people say having a degree is a necessity now everywhere you can see a lot of graduates overflow okay so next time Having a digital knowledge is a necessity. This is the way that I see. And jobs will be replaced by AI and robots, definitely. So you'll be uh, getting lesser jobs. Maybe last time need 100 of staff to do this thing. Now maybe two or three just to manage those robots to do all this. So you can see the, the jobs will be, become minimized. Only certain people with those digital knowledge, how to control robots, how to program robots, will be employed. So what, what else can we do if we have lesser job? Of course, by then, I will become senior already. Retire. Uh... Yeah, retire. <laughs> la, correct. Don't need to worry <laughs> about work. But what about my kid? My kid is a working age already. So he might find difficulty in finding jobs. Because you see, uh, the schools at the moment are not training as much digital skills uh, to the kids yet. They maybe just ask them to teach them how to use computers, uh, browse website, those normal stuff. Uh. But really into coding, right? They need to go to spe specific schools of training then yeah. then have but our normal uh education screen don't have so it's very difficult for them in the near future so that's why i or maybe everyone here is started this digital business so that we can learn ourselves when we're expert in it we're mastering it we can transfer all this knowledge to our kids so why not right so if you want kids to learn 
first you learn first oh? then you train your kids oh? there's if the school don't train then you train ah. it was as a parent it's our responsibility to train our kids ah. so it's better to train them while they're young because when kids are young their brain is like uh is a good absorber of knowledge ah. when you become older like teens or even adult it's very hard to implant new knowledge to to them maybe because they have their own thinking they may be stubborn they don't want to listen to you anymore it's very difficult so yeah, I, I would like just to develop a little bit if you allow me to what you said and completely yeah. right um every kid actually i would not say is a must because i'm nobody to tell what the kids should do but it's very important and they learn those digital parts even though they will not work on digital but as the world is growing every month every six months on those digital uh it's a gift that you can bring to your kids guiding them to go through that digital knowledge um whatever is it through coding if they really want to work on that part this is important but the digital it's we have no choice even though yeah. if we are against it we are not sure or if you are completely against then we go and live in uh, Himalaya with no network and then, I don't know, uh, growing uh, potato and that's it. But it's fine also. Meaning, yeah, but guys, there's nothing wrong. You know what I mean? But it's we can avoid those digit digitalization around us. Everything. So, yes, really to push more what Dave said, and it's super important. But whatever the direction your kids will take, uh, even artistic or whatever, they will need sooner or later they will need that so it's super super important too that's it yeah you know what even going potato people are using digital way to grow potato exactly and the robot no, to the seeds. yeah and the robot to to uh to go to, yeah, Malaya to, to plant the seeds yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh that's great excellent so you can't escape definitely no, we, we can't escape no yeah maybe next time when you reach that stage really become if you have watched this movie ready player one <laughs> okay so we just stay at home no we don't go anywhere our work will be inside our vr okay virtual oh reality God, I don't so you know virtual reality is another avatar okay another character that we maybe imagine or what that look this look differently from our face okay so we work inside there play inside there everything inside there okay so this might uh happen because Elon Elon Musk said uh they should humans should implant chips in the brain so that they become more intelligent they can implant more knowledge easier do you think he's crazy maybe next time really can do this okay so do embrace digital where you can before the world really become fully digitized and if you lost without the knowledge okay yeah. so with this uh we end our the three musketeers yeah i hope you enjoy today's show and we hope you see you next sunday same timing okay bye bye okay bye -bye. For one, one, for one, one for four. Four. okay bye bye <laughs> bye, bye guys bye have a fantastic sunday happy mother's day Happy Mother's Day too. <laughs> <laughs>